Hello, I'm Roy Boardman, and I am not going to teach you English. No, I'm going to teach you to learn English. How to learn English. Many students ask me, how should I learn English words? How can I learn English words? I often have difficulty trying to remember them. Of course, what they mean is, how can I memorize the word, use the word, and then remember the word when it is needed, when we're in a conversation or writing something. So this first lesson in the series is how to learn words. The first part of how to learn words because it's a very interesting and very important subject. What would we do without words? All of us are individuals. We all do things in different ways because we are individuals. We have preferences. Some people prefer writing with pen, other people prefer writing with a pencil. We have preferences. And in the same way, we have preferred ways of learning, of learning vocabulary, for example. But on the other hand, there are some things which are true for everybody. Here's tip number one, a piece of advice. You want to learn vocabulary. Now, okay, write this down. Take a notebook and a pen and write it down. It's very important. Ready? Don't try to learn a word in isolation. Learn it in context. Learn it with other words, together with other words, because words are friends with each other. They go together, or at least when they are used properly. Words which are separated from other words, they have no meaning. They don't mean anything if they're separated from other words. They only have meaning when they are in the company of other words. Let's take an example. We'll take one single word in isolation. Write it down, will you? The word is saddle. And you spell it S A double D L E. Now you might know that word, and you might not know that word. I'm assuming that you don't know the word, and so you don't know what it means. But if we hear the word subtle, or we see it in a list of words, how can we tell what it means? Of course, you can go to the dictionary... <laughs> but in a sense, that's cheating, no? When you meet words in a story that you're reading, you don't want to run to the dictionary every time you meet a new word. You want to work it out in context. So if I use the word saddle in a sentence, because the sentence is part of the context, then I have a chance of understanding it and of being able to remember it. Here's the sentence. Why don't you write it down? Jack couldn't ride the bike because the saddle was too high. Now, can you see that in your mind? There's a bike. Jack wants to ride the bike. But the saddle is too high. 
I think you've understood the meaning of saddle now. Another thing you can do, of course, is to go to your computer and go to internet and type in the word saddle and Google images. And you'll, soon, you'll see lots of kinds of saddle then. You'll find a saddle on a horse, a saddle on a bike, okay? But it's only with the context that you can first understand it and then begin to use it. So when you see or hear a new word, try to understand it by seeing how it fits the context, how it goes with other words, and how the other words help you to understand it. The sentence, the paragraph, those are the contexts. And remember the words that it goes with. And so we come to tip number two, or at least the beginning of tip number two, because this is very another very important fact. You must use a notebook to record vocabulary. Don't think you can just memorize them like that. You have to write it down and you have to write it down in a dedicated place. A special notebook. Keep a special notebook to record new vocabulary and the words you want to be able to use. Write the word down in a sentence, like that sentence about the saddle, for example. And you can invent sentences about your experiences of things using that word. Um, that's a very good way, because when you associate the word with your own experience, then it really does begin to mean something, and you really can begin to use it in conversation, for example. So... Record the vocabulary that you meet, write single words down in sentences, and then don't leave it at that. Of course, we have to check our vocabulary notebook regularly, every day, twice a week, every time we go to a lesson, when we're doing our homework, times when we feel like you're doing it. That's the best way. And in that way, you can begin not only to memorize, use, and remember the words when you need them, but you can also understand a lot about the grammar of how to use the words. So, in our next lesson, we will look in more detail about recording words in your notebook, how to organize your notebook, and how to use that notebook for remembering the words and using the words when you need them in conversation.